Bueno. Hola. Nobody here. Okay, no. No, nadie. Teacher. Um, hello, good evening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I am alone. No, you're not, you're not late. Uh, we haven't started yet. Okay. Uh, Ay, yo pensé que estaban ya en grupo. <laughs> no, 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 don't okay. worry. Uh, we are okay. waiting just some minutes in order to uh, let the other uh, guys connect. Okay. Yeah, it's very early. Okay, I wait. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Uh, welcome. Well, uh, welcome to everybody. Um, we're going to start this video conference right now. And we're going to be discussing about the passage with preposition. But before to start, as um, I always start with a quote, as you know, and I will share with you the quote and I will need at least three or four participations, okay? Um, let me see, can you see the quote right now? Yeah. Sorry, can you see what? Can you see the quote? No? No, say passive with prepositions. Okay, okay, give me a second. I will, I will show you. Uh, let me see. Give me a second, please. Um, Okay, no. Uh, well, check it out this. This is the quote that I had for you uh, tonight. It says, if you never go, you will never know. 
Okay, um, I need one participation as a volunteer. Um, well, who is going to start first? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening, good evening. sir. Okay, about the quote, if you never go, you'll never know. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. I I think uh, you never uh, hit the rock. You never you you never reach. Um, uh, what you say is something that something what you want in your life, and your and your family and, and your home. You never go to certain certain point or, or certain place or or certain uh, goal in, 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 in for, for example in, in, in your work mm -hmm. in your world if you can reach a new position uh, if you can get a, a promotion you have to to go to uh, uh, to, to, to do something extraordinary right if you want to get what you want. This is my opinion, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Very good. Excellent. Uh, I like it. Let me see. Uh, who else? Is there someone else who wants to participate? It's, it's like uh, I, I, if I never try to do something, I never know if I I I I can or any result. But the key is try. It's try to something. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, excellent. Good comments. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, Miss Miss uh, well Miss Pacheco, are you there? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Um, I think the quote is refer to uh, if we stay in a, a place uh, for uh, for forever, uh, we don't. Uh, recognize or uh, know the, uh, the things uh, are waiting for us, like people, like opportunities for job, like something, something like that. Okay. Uh, if uh, we go on a try and discover these things. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, let me see. Mr. Castillo? Mr. Castillo, are you there? No? Uh, Miss Monterrosa? Uh, teacher, uh, what do you say if you never go, okay. you never know. Uh -huh. Is you never, uh, is if you never, <laughs> Mm -hmm. the, for me, the letters, uh, I don't understand that. Never what? Never. Okay, if you never go. Ah, uh, if you never go. You will never you will know. Never know. Okay. Um, yes. Um, Uh, let me see, in, for example, you travel in another city, another department, for example, in the Salvador. Um, it's necessary to um, uh, visit or travel different 
place, place is only your fault to, to know the, the, the real place in, 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 the, in, the, in the past, the, the traditional form, and now exists the application, virtual system for to know the same place in the, in the virtual form. So I prefer the old method. <laughs> okay, okay, traditional method. Yes, that's right. Uh, we are in, in the era of technology and we have a, something that is called VR, that is virtual reality. Uh, and we can uh, visit many places using our computer, um, using our, our cell phone or using any other device. Uh, and it's good because there are many places that maybe we can be there, uh, but we can see it, uh, how it is, uh, how the, the street, uh, well, how the streets looks like, and many things that we can that we can see uh, in, in some apps, and that's good. But as Mister say, it's very the traditional um, the traditional method because uh, it's different. Okay, it's different, and that's applied for many things in our life. It's not the same being uh, listening what others say about any specific place uh, or a. Uh, being there, okay, listening sounds of, of, of the whole city, uh, smelling uh, how, how, how it is there, okay. Uh, well, it, it's it's uh, a different, uh, well, it has different sensations when you're, uh, when, when you visit, when you uh, live those experience there, and it's good. In, in life, okay, we can apply this to, in, in our life. It's like, okay, if you have a, 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 an offer about a specific uh, job, okay, and you, you uh, don't want to go, okay, if you don't go, uh, what happened? Okay, you will never uh, see the results or the, the but what happened after uh, you try it, okay? Because um, there are some things like uh, when we have a, a job offer and there are other participants and we say, ah, oh, no, well, yeah, at the end, not, nobody will, uh, <clears throat> will include me there, okay? Or I will get it. Uh, things like that happen. But the thing is that you, don't, you didn't try. And uh, that is what this what is about trying okay trying uh, because if you try you will see your answer maybe you get it or maybe not but you will see what happened uh, it's not the same if we keep in our house and uh, well no nothing happened okay we, we must try uh, very good we're going to continue with this uh, presentation. And we are going to be working on the topic that I say, that, that I showed to you before, and it says pass it with preposition. Uh, the objective of the class of this uh, session is by the end of this class, you will be able to describe causes by with by, because, due to, through, as a result of, and you will do so by using present continuous passive in present perfect passive. That's what we are going to be working on tonight. Uh, let's go to it. First of all, what is a preposition? Do you know what is a preposition? I will move this and uh, I will ask. Do you know what is a preposition? Do you have an idea about what it is? So I want to hear, do you have an idea about what is preposition? No? Hello? 
Miss Campos, do you have an idea about what is preposition? Uh, I can listen to you. I, I seen that you are talking, but... Uh, hello, Miss Campos. You have I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am... Um, uh, search the, the concept. Okay, you, you're looking for, okay? Tell yes, me what I you know. found, what you found there? Uh, his yeah, definition in the Google is mm -hmm. uh, preposition are the short words that are general, gen, generally used with nouns and pronouns. They give information about the place, time, and manner or manner or reason. In English grammatical, there are simple preposition and EGN com, I don't know. Um in this. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Campos. Uh well, we're going to see what is a preposition. Let's see in the slide that we have here. It says that a preposition is a word of group of words used before a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase to show direction, time, place, locations, special relationships, or to introduce an object. We're going to see many examples here uh, using prepositions. Okay, um, check it out with this. We're going to be focused just on these prepositions. Uh, using by, because of, as a result of, due to, and through. Something that we have to uh, keep in mind uh, with these prepositions is that we uh, have this preposition and all of them have a similar meaning. All the prepositions that we have here. Uh, have this similar meaning. And uh, check it out, this, the, the example that we have here. It says, too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding, okay? Because of overbuilding. Um, as we saw before, um, it says that we're going to be working uh, with these prepositions using um, passive continuous, Okay, and also a past perfect a passive. And in this case, we are using past perfect. How we construct the past perfect? Well, we construct a past perfect using a subject plus the auxiliary have plus been, okay, the verb to be, but in past a participle, and also uh, the verb uh, could, okay? That is the past, uh, the, the, the verb that we're going to be uh, using here. Um, in the examples that we have, uh, well, in the examples that we have here, uh, we're going to find this structure, is the ones that I'm telling you. Uh, but in this one, we use the part, the subject plus is, are, plus being, that's uh, creating a, a, the a present continuous tense and using the past participle to create a passive voice, okay? The passive voice. Um, and here we have the present perfect passive, uh, where we have to use the subject plus has or have been plus the past participle form of the verb. That's the structures. I don't know if you can uh, if you can take note of this because we are going to be using these structures to uh, create some sentences and that you're well you're going to be working on. And uh, it's necessary uh, to you for constructing them. Um, 
In this case, the present continuous passive and also the present perfect passive. Uh, well, do you have any questions till now? Do you have any question? Because uh, if you have, uh, if you don't have any question, we're going to continue with the following slide. But if you have a question, I can explain better uh, if you uh, didn't get what I'm saying, or in, in this case, I didn't express in the in the way that I was trying to, uh, in order to uh, provide you with the the the, the this information. So tell me, do you have any question? Yes or not? Can you tell me one example, please? <clears throat> okay. Uh, you mean one example for each one, right? Check it out this. Um, here we have the present passive, uh, the present continuous passive, uh, and using the preposition. Uh, as you see, we have in the first one, the air has been polluted by fumes from cars and trucks, okay? I will use a marker right now to explain you uh, this part. The air, what is this? Okay, this is the subject, okay? This is the subject. Then we have the where is or are, in this case could be is or are in the uh, verb V, in this case using the continuous, using ing form, plus the verb in past participle. What, uh, how, we con how we can construct this passive, uh, this, this present continuous passive, okay? adding just the past preposition of the verb. That is, that means uh, uh, at the end of this structure, a uh, subject plus is, are plus being. In this case, we have just the uh, passive continuum. But if we add the past participle, then we are going to be using the present, conti the present continuous passive, okay? Because this is the past participle of the verb uh, pollute, okay? Uh, what is this? Then, this is the prepositions that we're using to connect those sentences. The first one that it says there, the air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Those are the, uh, the two, uh, well, the, the, the action results of, the, of this sentence. Well, uh, we have another example here that it's city streets are being damaged. In this case, you see the past participle form. And as a result of, that is the preposition that we are using uh, to connect this uh, sentence. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. That's the way how we construct the passive continuous. Uh, remember, always we're going to be using the subject plus is or are plus being plus the past participle. In that way, we create the present continuous passive. And also we can add the preposition to connect another sentence. Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Very good. In the second one, the present perfect passive, how we could construct this? Well, in this case, the roadways, the roadways, eh, it's the subject, okay? This is the subject. Then we're going to be using have as an auxiliary verb plus been in past participle, eh, been, and also, we're going to be using the past participle of this verb. The roadways has been jammed, okay? Uh, the roadways has been jammed. Then we're going to, we cannot, okay? We cannot because of, because of, uh, to, to uh, give an extra information about this sentence because of people's that, uh, dependence on cars, okay? The roadways has been jammed because of people's dependence of, uh, on cars. 
Eh, remember, and I, will, and I will say it again, when we use the present perfect passive, in this case, we are going to be using the subject plus the auxiliary verb have, this one, plus being, this one, and in this case, this is going to be the verb uh, in past participle, okay? Past participle. The verb using past participle. Then we just add the preposition and the information that we want to add. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, very good. The same happened with the, the other two examples that we have here. Many parts have been lost, okay? Uh, the homeless has been displaced. And we have the preposition through over building due to overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, those are the structures. Those are the examples that we have there. And uh, that is the way that we're going to be following to construct our own sentences. Uh, we're going to have an activity right now where uh, we're going to write a sentence using a uh, using the present continuous passive and the present perfect passive. Uh, please don't use the examples that you have that have been shown to you in the platform or in this video conference. You have to construct your own one. Okay, please go to uh, to the breakout rooms. Go to the breakout rooms and then. It, well, and there you are going to be working with your classmates uh, one sentence, just one sentence for each, uh, for each structure that you learn tonight. Okay? Is it clear the instruction? Yes, it's clear. Okay, very good. So I will send, uh, send you to the breakout rooms. Please construct those sentences. You are going to give me two sentences for, per group. Uh, and that's going to be your activity. You will have around six minutes, uh, three minutes for each sentence, and, and then you are going to be back. If you have any question, please use the button that says uh, help, uh, ask for help, okay? It has a quotation mark. If you click on it, you are going to call me and I, and I will be in your group. Uh, and asking, well, answering your your uh, questions, okay? So, give me a second. I will create the breakout rooms, and this is going to be just two participants. Okay. Uh, please uh, click on join, and uh, see you in six minutes. Hi, anybody here? Hello, hello. Hello, Carlos. Talk to me. Hello. Did you understand the exercise? We have to do no what what we have to do, Carlos. My hope 
think that you <laughs> can't <to> do it. <laughs> La fregamos, pues. <laughs> Hello, uh, uh, do you have any question? Uh, yes, teacher, sorry, I don't understand what uh, we have to do. Okay, you are going to create two sentences. One, uh, one sentence using present continuous passive and one sentence using present perfect passive. Uh, I think you saw the structures that we uh, the were discussing in the journal conference. Uh, so we're going to create uh, those two sentences. In the chat, um, we put the, the picture or a screenshot or something, or, or what? Well, after you create the sentences, you are going to send it in the uh, chat, but it, it you must send it to the, uh, when you are in the, in the general, in the general video conference, okay? Because in that way, I can see what you wrote. Carlos, are you there? Yes. Yes. And then two sentences and person continue. Then the other. Present perfect, pass it. Present perfect. I need to write it. Okay, I I understand that we have to to do it on the on the chat. Okay. Yeah, you have to send it. You have to send it to the chat. That's what you have to do. But you have to send it in the general uh, video conference, not here. Just in the general video conference. Okay. Okay, I will uh, go to a different group. See you in a moment. How been? How been close? Coco, any Coco? And that's a puppy. Yeah, sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I like I, I like this, the, 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 it's a, a like chihuahua. The... Yeah, yeah, chihuahua mini toy. <laughs> nice. The teacher, um, I, I read the first example with a past participle. Okay. That car, I'll be close for many times. Uh, the car has been? Have been closed for many times. Okay. Okay, maybe you can, it's okay, it's good. The structure is good, but maybe you can uh, use uh, a different has. subject. No, a different subject. Instead of using car, uh, you can say, for instance, that business, okay? That business has been closed for many has times. Been closed for many times. There, yeah. For many times. Instead of saying for many times, just many times. Has been closed many times. Instead many of times. Many. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, I repeat. Um, the car has been closed many times. Okay. This is this is with a past participle. And, uh, and the second foreign. <laughs> it's good. Uh, uh, the second is teacher. Uh, you disabilitate this chart screenshot. The screenshot. No, the thing is what that when you move to the break of run, you can see the uh, PPT. Okay, you, you can see the PowerPoint presentation. 
because the PowerPoint presentation is not easy in the general uh, room, okay? So, but I will show you right now. Let me see uh, if I can do it here. Oh, it's okay, but, but we can uh, share the screen and the oh, option forest. is closed. Okay. okay, you want to see this one? Yes, give me one moment. Yes, please. Uh, present continuous. Um, in present continuous, the example um, should to be. Uh, In this class, interesting. It's okay. Okay, the sure? English class. The, the you may you say the English class is interesting. In is interesting. Uh, With ENG. Well, in this case, Miss, Miss, in this case, you have to use a, the verb to be, in this case, been, okay? Uh, you must construct a sentence using always a, is or are and always using been. Then you are going to add the past participle, this one, okay? okay. This is the ones that you are going to change. Okay, okay, if I understand, Always, you uh, you must use are or is with being. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Being, okay. And the verb is a participle too. Okay, in this case, the verb has to be the past participle. Participle, yes. Okay. In the English class, is being um, started. Started. Pues sí, empezando. Teacher, hello. Okay. Yes, yes, I, I'm listening you. Are you there? I'm listening you. Okay. But in this case, is uh, you must use the past principle. Uh, for instance, mm -hmm. you can say the English class. It's been. Uh, Start. Challenge sure. could be it's been challenge or uh, it's it's been iniciando story. Okay, start. Uh, start. Start. But you are using the past participle. I think that the the meaning of that sentence could be different instead of mm -hmm. saying starting or a start. A start. Okay. Yes, I catch. Okay, <laughs> I catch. Very good. I will move. I will see a different group because I want to uh, see if the other uh, groups are working. So I will move right now. Because it's a say contaminated soil and underwater. Underground water. Mm -hmm. Underground water are being is the same is is the same the same form. Mm, I don't understand. Yeah. Underwater have. Huh? Being mm -hmm. on the world, one have been have uh, you are using have have been. On their world. Have been contaminated. Uh, 
I don't know because it's the review. But the problem is that I don't I don't understand the connection using the the good the, the sentences into chain. I I do necessary to to review well again all the information. Uh, hey, I did. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been. Pedro, them. I find the answer. I find the answer. Have? Yeah, I no. did it. So soil and underground water. Uh huh. Have been. Have been. Uh huh. No, uh, no is the form uh, you uh, ing is. Being. Uh -huh, being, double E. That's right. Being contamin contaminated because of livestock farms. Uh, being contaminated, contaminated. Mm -hmm. Because of livestock farms. Because because uh, livestock farms of lies of like no of livestock farms. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because of that's right. Because of live livestock, stock livestock farms. farms. Right. Don't forget the point to end sentence. Uh huh. The point. The real name is Pyro. <laughs> or Pyro. Yes, yes. I don't know how to say Pyro the Pyro. I don't know. I put the correct information, but in in, in here is that in the platform strike two. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, if you want, we can try to resolve the next. Uh -huh. Underworld water have been contaminated because of livestock farms. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> oh, here's a <the> teacher. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I was I was here. Okay, listen. Uh, do you have any question for me? <laughs> uh, we uh, are talking. <laughs> Just we're talking. Time, okay, so. that's good. Uh, okay, you, you did it in English, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. very good. Excellent, excellent. So if you're talking here. It must be in English, and that's good because you're practicing. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. with all the the time speaking English, it's like a word or something like that, but one word. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, we time is over. We're going to move to the general video conference right now, and I will see you there, uh, girls. Bye. Okay, uh, okay, okay, teacher. Well, we are here again. Uh, we saw the pass it with prepositions. Please uh, write your sentences in the chat of this video conference and I will be using a whiteboard. And then we're going to be checking your examples that you uh, construct. Please leave it there, please. Send it to the chat of this video conference right now.
Okay, what about the rest? I have just one sentence in the chat. Give me one moment, please. I have a problem with a word. Okay, okay. English. English class. Okay, uh, we have just four sentences here. Thanks to uh, Ms. Campos, uh, Mr. Lopez, and Ms. Escobar. Thank you for sharing your uh, sentences. Well, in this case, we are going to check uh, these sentences and let's see if uh, those sentences use the structure that we discussed in the class. We have here the first one, it says the car has been closed, okay, closed many times. Uh, tell me, uh, is it correct or is it incorrect, this sentence? Incorrect. Incorrect. Because the, yes, because the verb is, is not in past participle. Okay, it's not in past participle. What do we have to do uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, create a past participle of this verb? Mm. Closed. Closed. Okay. Closed. closed. Very good. Excellent. And let me see. Um, Okay, there. Uh, we have we have a we have here uh, the verb close. Very good. That's mean adding d. Uh, and in that way, it could be correct. The structure is correct. Let's see the second exercise. Many. The many forest has been lost through overbuilding. Okay, is it correct or incorrect? Tell me. Forest. Okay.
Okay, if we see here, we have this object, many forests. Okay. Uh, maybe we must add the letter S here. Have, okay, been in the past participle. We have the past, I mean, the present perfect passive. And we are using, uh, we're using the preposition. That's good. Very good. The second one, the English class is being start. Is it correct or incorrect? Huh? Yes. Okay, the English class is being start. Huh? Do we have to change something there? The verb. The verb. Which one? Start. 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 What do which uh, verb do we have to use? Mm. Yes, participle verb. Yes, that could be a good form of the is this way is start. Start. Way. start. Okay. Start. Start. Okay, start. I have Great. a problem with the uh, verbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, don't worry, we are learning here. Then we have a, the other sentence that it says, I have been waiting for you. Uh -huh. What happened here? Okay, waiting. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. I have been waiting. Okay, according to the structure that we discuss uh, here in the video conference, we said that we have to use the past perfect. Okay, past, well, I mean, present perfect, sorry. Uh, the, the correct uh, structure is present perfect passive, okay? And if we use the present perfect passive, we must use a past participle verb in this case. Uh, instead of saying I have been waiting, we must look for a verb with a past participle, okay? We have to correct this sentence. Then we have the next one. We, uh, we're going to check uh, quickly because of the time, and uh, we're going to be we're going to see uh, some some other uh, examples later. Uh, here we have I I've been playing playing. What happened here? We're using the ing form, uh, and we use the past participle. We have to use the past participle verb of play. In this case, instead of using ing form, must use ed. Oh, yeah. ed exactly. Uh, and we have to look for a different subject. That's something that we have do, that we have to keep in mind uh, all day because because uh, my cousin is in my house. We can use because very good. Uh, the diary in my bedroom is being uh, right by me. Very good. That, that one is, is good. Okay, we are using the, the verb is being plus the past, uh, uh, the past participle. But it, the, 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 the idea is clear. 
But in this case, write, it's not the past participle of that verb. What happened there? That does any, uh, well, is someone here that can tell me the past participle of write? What is the past participle of write? It's wrote. Wrote? That's the past. Wrote. Wrote. Wrote is the past. Written. But the past participle? Written. 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 Exactly. Written. So we must change write in this way. And we have to use written. Very good. And we're using the preposition by me. Uh, well, it's good. So uh, I will be sending you in, in the WhatsApp group some other examples using this uh, present perfect passive and also the present continuous passive. In order you can check that information, in order to, you can check that information uh, uh, there. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can ask me too. Uh, the time we have finished this video conference, because I have to move to a different uh, group. And uh, you have some exercises in the platform, okay? Uh, tell me, did you complete at least the first, uh, the first section? Did you complete the first section? Yes, complete the field section. Okay, very good. Excellent, sir. Uh, what about the rest? Well, if you haven't finished that, please do it because in this week, we must take the midterm. Okay, we must take the midterm. We have to move to the section three uh, because we are uh, almost in, uh, in the middle of this course. And you must take the midterm this week. Uh, if you take it this coming Thursday, it will be okay. But if you take it before that, it could be better. Uh, then, do you have any question? No, teacher. No. no teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know there in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so okay. I will be answering there as soon as possible. And I will see you tomorrow at this time too, at eight o'clock. And uh, we're going to be discussing a different topic. Well, see you and blessings to all of you. Okay, good night. Good night, good night teacher. teacher. See you. Good night, bless you. Bye.